Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. Family, how you doing? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, please let me know in the comments what you thought of the video, if you enjoyed it and if you felt inspired. And um, if you're not a member of the Tara's Take family, please consider subscribing to the channel and becoming a member because we'd love to have you. Um, so I made this yesterday for our scrumptious shabby dabby journal, junk journal. I, um, I decided uh, it needed a little extra touch for the cover that will be really scrumptious and yummy and Tina-like. And so I made a snippet strip because, yeah, they are just beautiful. And I'm thinking that we're going to use this on the front of our journal. And then probably, I think I made enough of it to use for the inside as well, which I do love to put snippet strip pockets into journals. I love that. I could do it as a side uh, tuck here, you know, in the side. Don't know which way I'm gonna go with that, but I think that'll probably be enough to make, I, I didn't even measure when I made it. It's funny, let's see. There's that one, and then if we do a second one, and the inside, and then the front cover. Uh, actually, I think it's like just at the right size to do. Oh my goodness, that's funny. I think it's actually gonna fit. So yeah, we'll probably have one of these on the inside, back and front cover. Yep, yep, yep. I've been picking all kinds of stuff to use, you know, for, I think I'm even gonna do some Something with the wax seals, because those always make me think of Tina. And <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. She loves those. She loves those. She uses them a lot. So they always make me think of her. I'm looking over here in my little, I've got stuff so spread out all over my desk. And um, I want to make, I'm probably going to, I don't know. What do you think, guys? I actually think this would match. Do you guys think this would match? I don't know that I like this particular button I have here on the front. I may have to do another button. Let's see. Can I take this off without tearing up this fan? I love these little fans. We made these before. Um, inspired by Tina. Yeah, I think I'm going to put something prettier on here than this button. I'm not crazy about it, but I don't know if I can get it off without messing it up. Darn it. I mean, they're easy enough to make. It's just paper and and then beautiful lace. You know, but I was just kind of thinking this actually goes with this journal because I was going to change it. But yeah, I don't I don't know that I'm going to need to, you know. Oh, can I do this off here? Oh, it's been on here for a year. Ah. Girl, I'm just going to wait. I may make another one or cut that off or something because I, I have another piece I'd like to put on there instead. And then we have this piece to decorate. Um, I'm going to darken. I'm I'm kind of fiddling around a little bit because yeah, I want to do a little brown on here and darken this bright white. I don't need all that. Um, I'm kind of fiddling because I don't know what I want to do. I really want to decorate the journal. I think we actually have enough stuff to start getting, you know, it decorated on the inside. Um, I, I just jumped on here, to be honest, because I'm dying to work on the journal. And yeah, see, this is going to be a page edger. But I'm going to decorate on it. I'm going to I'm going to do something on here, not just this. So let's let's see. Let's first of all, get our stack of stuff. OK, and then I'll feel more like I know which directions I want to go. So there's all our goodies. I've got everything right here next to me. So it's not like we have to look for it anywhere. Now I am going to use these in there, but we're going to do something on the front of them. Um, these are going to be just journaling spaces, journaling spots. Okay. And just with like little flip in type thing. Let's see. We've got that one, that one, that one, that one. No, that's not finished yet. This one, this. So we have quite a bit to get put in there already. 
as you can see. See, this is another one of those journaling spaces like this. So I, I want to do something similar on the other two to just give it, you know. And these are just going to give them an extra, whoever ends up owning the journal is going to give them an extra sp few spaces to journal. There'll be, there's actually a lot of spaces in this journal. So it'll be a good usable, um, it's not just, it's not just going to be there to be pretty, it's actually going to be usable. And then we have all those journal cards and tags. I actually backed uh, a bunch of those the other day with the paper after I got off the video with you guys. And so I got those prepared for the most part to be decorated and used. Um, like I said before, don't have to, this one's ready. It's, I just maybe want to put like a phrase or something on here. So we'll put this with this. Okay. So let's bring in the journal. I've got to start playing because I just really want to do something with it. So I'm dying to get, this is probably the quickest journal I've done in a long time. Now, see, this is how I used to do journal. I get journals done pretty much in like a, a week or two. And then I started the t then I started the channel, and I was so busy recording videos that I um, I ended up not having as much time, you know, to finish stuff. Now I don't want to put this here because it's going to open up this way, but I don't want it on a soft area. I would rather have it inside the book somewhere because it's going to um, they're going to need to be able to write, you know, on it. Let me see. Oh, it would look pretty right here. You know, one thing I want to do that I didn't, and I should have, I didn't even think about it until right now, because like I said, I got excited, but we need to do a little bit of, a little distressing here. not hard to do okay okay see I decided not to do sewing on the pages of this journal that's why I was able to put it together and not worry about it. Oh, by the way, about that, putting it together, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, we sewed it. Um, see, I don't know how I'm going to, the videos, like I'm doing them really quick and so I'm getting a little lost in how many I've done. Um, what I thought, I think, is that we did the sewing yesterday. Okay, so in doing that, um, we... I actually came back in and redid this again, okay, because when I closed it, I could look down on it and see that it was uneven, okay, so like right here, it wasn't even, it was coming, this one, this signature was coming down a little bit, so I moved it over closer to the other signature and evened it out and sewed it back in, okay, and it tightened it at the same time, because remember, it was a tiny bit loose, so it's not loose anymore um and now it was no big deal it took a few minutes of course I wasn't on camera so it was like boom anyway <laughs> but I went ahead and I did some lace on the insides both sides here so just to kind of just look pretty and now that center piece I may put another piece of lace in the center don't know yet I don't think I really need to because it's pretty close and once this you know branches out it's going to be pretty full but, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make sure you knew I did that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and I think I might want to put this on here. Possibly. Let's see. And what else do I have over here to go on the pages? Because I've got all kinds of ruffles that I made for this. And then we've got our page edgers we did, which are so fun. Um, and I want to use those up and just have them decorative, you know. 
And so, look in here. Let me see. I like that up over the edge of the page. That little edger. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then I'm probably... I usually do these as a, um, this piece here, I usually glue it down firmly because it's going to open and close a lot for them. It'll be opening and closing for them to write on. So I don't remember if I've ever done one as a pocket. I'm trying to think if I have. But if I glue this edger down and then put this on top, and glue it to there. It could be a pocket. Huh. Yeah. Now, so I'm going to grab my glue. Let's see if we're open for business here. Haven't used it at all yet today. So I might, I might struggle with it a little bit. I hope not. But y'all know how that is. So we're going to go ahead and do a page edger here. And these can also be used as um, belly bands, you know. I just had in my brain that I wanted to use it as a decorative edge. It's just my thing. You know, you get a perception in your head about something and that's what you're going to use it for. But it's multiple purpose, that's for sure. And I think I'm going to take it about there. Okay, let me get my towel. It's not a towel, my dry wipe. Come here. I am um, I talked to Courtney yesterday about what I want to do about this journal when it's finished, so I can't tell you guys yet, but he was like, yeah, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so, yay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use some hot glue on this because it's just straight paper. It should be fine. And I am going to try it as a pocket. I think it'll be kind of cool. There we go. Little tiny piece right here. There we go. That's the one thing I, I like about hot glue. You can kind of just roll it away if you hit it right, you know. So now that this is glued down, we have a little pocket here. And then, of course, it opens. And it opens up for them to be able to write on. And then they can also write on this side if they want. And there you go. I love these pieces. I think they're so fun. Okay, so there's our first main piece glued in. Yay! <laughs> we did something. I'm so excited. Awesome. Oh, let's see. What will complement over here? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this somewhere on the same page. Not on this page because it doesn't go. Um, let me see. I'm looking to see what I think might complement the other side, you know. And again, I'm going to 
just hit the edges real quick. Yeah, I'm kind of really surprised at how quick I'm getting this journal done, considering I haven't made one in a while. Not really. I haven't. It's been a. I don't know. It's been a good few months. I mean, the one I finished, the travel journal I finished, um, was a little bit different because it was. I'm wondering, do I want that or do I want? The travel journal was a little bit different because it was more, uh, I had I had started it before, and so it wasn't like, it wasn't like it was, you know, brand new or anything. It was, you know, let's see. The reason I was thinking this would look good here is because these butterflies match those butterflies. And then if we did a little gold edging around this paper, which even if I don't put it here, it, this gold edge just never hurts, right? Never hurts to me. <laughs> One of my favorite things. I love it. And then of course, where's my, where's, there it is. What time is it? Okay. Throw a little bit down on the page. I don't know where I'm going to put that piece yet, so. Oh, I hate when one big chunk of paint gets stuck. It's annoying. Okay. I'm going to go ahead since I have gold on this piece, I'll go ahead and do a little gold on this edge as well. This journal is going to have a lot of gold highlights in it because they're gorgeous. And I know for a fact that Tina likes them as well. I've seen her do that a lot. And since this is all dedicated to her work, yeah, Cordy thought that was a cool idea. I don't think anybody's ever done a journal dedicated to her work like that. I hope I hope I'm the first. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they have. I have no idea. Let's see, which one did I say? Oh, it's this one. So I'm thinking. You know what I'm wondering if I should go ahead and maybe make a piece of ephemera to go across from this one that matches this paper right here. I think I might do that because I have the rest of that page in my stack and I can probably, and I could always print it again. So let's, let's move elsewhere. Let's move on. Let's go up here to the front. I'm torn on this one. I don't know which one I want to use. I really love this background and I didn't want to cover her face. So I don't want to use something super tall and I hate covering this butterfly too, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. I'm not going to use that piece. Maybe I'll use this one here. That would look pretty. Yeah, they go really well together. Mm -hmm. I just might do that. You're just tapping that white edge. And I don't really mind if I get it on the lace anyway, because this makes it look older, so not a bad thing, right? Okay. I'm laying down the pieces first um, before I do like the ruffles and stuff. 
because I'll usually bring the ruffles over the edge of things if I need to. So I do like this right here. Yeah, I like that. And this is the one that's the double envelope. So because it's kind of at a roll here, because of the way the paper's lying, um, I'm thinking, do I want to use the hot glue or regular glue? I can use, let's try using the art glitter and see how that goes. Okay. If it's working. Hopefully it's working. And we're going to do this one as an envelope, um, as an envelope, as a pocket as well. It is an envelope. It's a double envelope. <laughs> we made these last week, I believe, together. Okay. Going to have to really hold that. The hot glue would work better to hold it down, but... I know the art glitter glue dries fast, so I think it'll be fine. Probably just go like this. <laughs> and we can undo this so we can press on, make sure that envelope on the bottom, which is where it's actually holding is pressed down good. I don't think I decorated the inside with you. I went ahead and finished decorating. I used a little frame for her. A little bird and flowers. I love this one. I do love uh, these envelopes a lot. Okay. And I told you before, once it's once it's glued down, it's much easier to tie, which I'm sure most of you know that. <laughs> but there we go. So there's that page. Now, 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 let us see. Do we want, we're going to do a little gold again around our edge. Okay. And then, um, I'm thinking, can I get a good, yeah. I'm debating on if I want to do like, cause I do love to double things up on pages if I can. Oh, this isn't wanting to stick over here. Here, we're gonna use this hot glue cause this side's not sticking right on that material, so. Okay. Glad I saw that. You know what? It's not wanting to stick very good on this side either. Maybe I'll just use the hot glue on both sides. It's because of the angle that's at. I'm aware that it's causing pressure. But. Yeah, it's pulling. So, yep. We are going to do hot glue. Even the bottom's pulling, I think. A little bit. There we go. That should do the trick. Hot glue is pretty strong. Once it dries, it's. I don't usually have. The only time I've had trouble, I think, uh, with hot glue was with washi tape. I was struggling with washi tape one time. I don't know if you guys remember that. There was a project I did and I just remember it not wanting to stick. It was like a little folio and the hot glue was pulling on it and it was so aggravating. Just to make sure I've got it all the way up. Okay. 
So anyway, what I was saying was, I'm wondering if I want to put like another small thing up here, like for a pocket or something. I have some that I did not yet. These would be pretty. I could glue in one of these as a pocket, like a little side pocket. I did not coffee dye these. That's what I was going to say. So I'm going to just kind of distress the white a little bit with my ink. Just doing it really light so it doesn't make any big brown streaks in it, but darkens it up. there as a pocket it's just a where's my glue oh there it is <laughs> this desk is so full you guys honestly I'm funny I actually feel like I'm channeling Tina I've got myself surrounded by piles of stuff which I don't usually work in that you know very well in that atmosphere <laughs> you know how our girl always has piles of stuff on her desk that's how I am right now I was thinking about that yesterday. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm doing the same thing. That's funny. So I'm thinking this will hold on here because it's just this thin paper. Uh, not thin, but it's only a little cardstock, you know, like 48 pound. So I think it'll hold better. I hope. I'll let it dry and then. I wanted to incorporate these rose papers, uh, these rose cards and stuff and I didn't know for sure how I was going to do it but I'm glad I did it right here because that opens up with some pretty prettiness right from the start you know and I'm thinking I'm looking around on my desk here and wondering do I have something pretty that I could put around like at the edge of it or something to give it a little more flair. That would be pretty there, right? Just as an edger for that pocket. Let's do that. Let's try it. Let's just go for it. I'm just going to run it along the back of this pocket. Oops, the back of this pocket. Just for visual, you know. Aesthetic serves no purpose other than it's pretty. There we go. Okay. Stay on there, baby. Grab my scissors. I had someone ask me where I got these and uh, Ikea. These came from Ikea. See, Ikea right there. Okay, so if you like them, that's where they came from. I kind of wish I had enough to do the top and bottom of this too. I like to put pockets, but then again, this is a pocket and I don't want to mess up the entry to that. I feel like I need a little no I think I'm okay it's that envelope that's all let me look I'm just peeking here to make sure this side maybe just to tap more of the hot glue at the top of this envelope just to make sure it's down good there we go okay there all right so now we have a little side pocket here and then we have this pretty pretty double envelope and then on the inside I know for sure we're gonna put this either like so as a pocket at the bottom of the page or we're gonna do it at the side 
I'm not sure yet how I want to do it. I kind of wanted to throw some like ephemera on here on the inside cover. So I'm not positive yet on that, but we'll see. We'll see. And then on the inside, now this is going to be a tuck and it's just, just for fun. And it's, it's all, um, vintage, you know, book page and everything. So this is going to be like a, just a fun little insert. So I'm not going to be putting that anywhere in particular. Um, I kind of, let's see, I want to do this so they have the whole page to write on. But I also want to put it Nope, not quite. This could be where the pocket is. Because this is a pocket. Hmm. Let's see, if I put that there, how much is it going to be in the way of them writing? Well, they can always push this up and write, you know, on it. Because I definitely don't want it on, it on a page all by itself. Of course, I could do it sideways, and then they could open it sideways as well. And we could do it on one of these. Because this is cardstock, so... It'd be a firmer hold for it. I don't know. Let me see. This is that big envelope we made at the beginning. Um, it will go on a smaller page. And I do need it to be this way because it needs to be able to open it. It's another piece that's easier to fold under after you get it glued down. Hmm. It goes nicely with that thread, so maybe I'll put it on this page. Yeah, I think I will. I hope you guys are feeling inspired. I know I'm kind of being, I jumped on here before I really knew what I was going to do with this video. So like I said, I'm just dying to start putting some stuff in and then see how much more I need to finish it off, you know, because I know I'm probably going to need more uh, pieces. I wish I'd thought about doing this before I did this sewing. I... I got excited to sew it together. I hate when I do that because I would have done these edges and everything, you know, as a whole. And instead, I've got myself kind of doing it partially from what I would normally do. So, note to yourselves don't do what I do. <laughs> you know, I make the mistakes for you so you don't have to. <laughs> Okay, I think um, a nice piece of, do I have any in here? Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. I went and got some lace. I love putting lace down on a uh, background backdrop under stuff. And I'm thinking that this might look really pretty with some lace behind it. Yeah, and I don't even have to put lace everywhere because, um, of course I could. I'm just thinking I want to line the edges, you know. Let's see. Maybe I will try to just do like 
a piece big enough to do the top side and and not underneath it, you know. sticking to my dry skin. Usually I do a whole piece down, but now that, I mean, okay. I shouldn't say usually, I should say I used to because I didn't know what I know now uh, that I don't really need that whole piece there. So all if I just wanna give the effect of it being under there, I can just do it partially, you know? Let's see if this is big enough to do. Nope, not quite. That's okay, we'll use it somewhere else. So we'll cut another piece. I'm just cutting about a two inch or so piece. Strip so that I can I did a terrible job of cutting on that part, but that's all right. And then I'm going to run a piece along the side here so that it shows up like it's like it's there. It doesn't need to be that. I think that'll fit. I hope. I hope. I hope. Yeah, it'll fit. So then when I sit it down, oh, come on. It, I'm sorry, it's sticking to my dry skin. That's why I'm having trouble moving the lace. It keeps sticking to me. It's very annoying. I apologize. I'll go ahead and glue this down. I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just use my fabric, not my fabric tack, my art glitter, because it works really good with lace and ribbon and stuff for the most part. At least it always has for me in the past, so I'm sure it's going to now. Okay, just sit that on there. Oh, Tara, come on. Stop sticking to me. It'd be awesome if you just stop sticking to me. <laughs> I think I need to trim this little edge. Sorry. There we go. Okay. And we'll just trim this little part off here. out a little bit more. I hate that it is sticking in my hands so bad. Making sure I'm in the camera here. It's a little more straight. Yeah, I've never done it in pieces like this. 
I've always used a whole piece, but I'd really like to use that lace in other places in the journal, you know, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm just trimming this little bit off here, if I can. There we go. Okay. Oh, those neighbor's dogs. Guys, they've been barking all morning. Poor babies. I went outside and I was like, shh. I was trying to get them to be quiet and they're just staring at me. And then they go running off barking again. I'm like, whatever, lady. Be quiet. We don't belong to you. Our mommy didn't come out and tell us to be quiet, so we're going to keep barking. <laughs> I'm just seeing if this other piece will fit. Nope, not quite. Hear them? Lovely. That is Charlie Brown. And I still have not learned the name of the little girl, Doberman. But Kirby, he hardly ever barks. He's super quiet. And uh, he's a pit bull. He's like a blue, gray pit bull. Beautiful, beautiful boy. And he's so sweet. You know what? This isn't quite long enough, is it? I, mean, I guess if I stretch it, but I don't want it to... <clears throat> Eh, I'm going to go for it. It'll be fun. I'll stretch it. I don't want you guys to have to sit through the pain of watching me cut more and stuff. <laughs> I don't want to go through the pain of watching me cut more. Yeah, Kirby is the quietest dog I think I've ever seen. He was, from what I was told by the owner, he was very abused before they got him. And so he's just pretty shy. Super sweet, though. You don't really think of, if you don't, if you're not around pit bulls, you don't think of them as being sweet. We think of them as being, you know, horrible and scary and all that. But I'm hoping that this looks okay. I hope I didn't make a mistake by cutting this. I still have enough to put the whole piece down if I needed to. But I think it'll be fine. Look at that. And then I'll just put this right to the edge. Let's see. There you go. Surrounded, yeah. Cool. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. Now, which glue do I want to use? Oh, I'll use the hot glue. I just, I kind of. I don't want it to dry on me before I get, and it's such a big piece, and I shake so much. When I hurry, that I get worried it's going to dry. The glue's going to dry before I get a chance to sit it down. Okay. They're a cute couple, aren't they? Isn't that precious? Amour. Now, I don't usually put heavier stuff, but this paper, like I explained to you before, is a 32 pound. It's not your typical copy paper. It is thicker than that, so that's why I went for it. I am feeling a bit of an opening right here. I don't think the glue took, so... Sorry, they drive me nuts after a while because I hear them. Oh, it's really not sticking. Shoot. It's fine. That, is it sticking up there? Let me see. That seems fine now. I think it's where I took too long to lay it down, which is exactly what I was worried about. Um, yeah, I listen to them bark all night, all the time. And I love the owner. Her and I are friends. But she never stops them from barking. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, please stop them from barking. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love her so much. But yeah, she just does not stop these guys from barking. 
I know I'm talking a lot about it because it's, it's getting on my nerves. Okay. I think once this has a chance to set in, it'll be fine. But I've got that wet glue underneath and then I didn't lay it down quick enough and, you know, all that good stuff. Because now it seems much better since I did it in sections like that. And you've got your... This is a pocket. And then the envelope. I might go ahead and seal this because maybe it'll just be more stable. Because if they're pulling on it to open it as a pocket, it might not, you know, might not be a good thing. So this is paper to paper, so I'm going to go ahead and throw... I'm going pretty deep in here with the nozzle so that it'll cover it. I'm just going to seal this thing because it'll make me feel better. I think if I leave it open, it's going to be vulnerable. And we don't want vulnerable. We want it nice and tight. You know? Okay, this is pulling. I'm going to have to cut that. Oops, somebody's fighting over there. I can hear one of them squealed. Okay. There. That'll make me feel better. That way it's just opening the envelope. I, like I said, I was worried about it. Now I'm seeing I'm a little bit off on my edge there. I don't think it's enough to worry about. Okay, so now we have this one, which is drying nice. We're not getting very much done, are we? Okay. Hmm. This one opens like so. Oh, I really wish she'd come in and come out and just bring her dogs in. I think they drive her crazy in the house, too, because they're so big. <clears throat> See, I like the backing of this, um, the fabric on some of these pages. I do. I think that's pretty. But I also want, I think I can do some possibly stamping. We'll just use the dark brown that stays on. <clears throat> Timber brown will be nice. Let's go put this on a little better. There we go. And then when I sit things down on top, um, I don't mind if, like, they cover the edges of these stampings. I just think looks pretty to have this on the edge of the page and then when you do stuff like this it kind of I don't know it makes it not look so plain but you didn't have to do a lot to get that effect and this padding of this envelope is like perfect to stamp on top of so that's nice and we're just gonna yeah do the two sides. Okay. I'm going to try to bring in the corners here like this. Because part of this is going to be covered. So I'm not too worried about it. I just want some more. I don't care if it has the bottom parts is what I'm saying. Maybe I should on this one, which is fine.
Let's see how we do this. I know it doesn't look good yet. <laughs> I'm going to be covering it, so I'm not worried about it. I'll do one more spot right here to kind of link these. Okay. <clears throat> and then kind of set that in the center. And I might even do, yeah. I'm going to do a couple of them on here, just like right, there, just like in the corners. Okay, so they just kind of blend. There we go. When I was a dog owner of bigger dogs that had really loud voices, I um, I never would let them do that. Like just bark and bark and bark and bark and bark until the point where your your neighbors are losing their minds. <laughs> Because I think because it always bothered me for them to just be barking and barking and barking. So, yeah, I would bring my dogs in. Once they started being really loud and they went to the bathroom after they went potty and everything, and they played for a little while, if they started being really loud, I'd just bring them in. Because I didn't want to drive my neighbors crazy. And at nighttime, that's the bad part. She lets them out at night, and they do that at night. And so... <laughs> I think about all the people that live around here who work. She's retired. She's a grandma, retired grandma, and uh, a, a sweetheart. But she's just not thinking, I don't think, about her neighbors. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you need to think about people. So there's our first page, and there's our second page. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing... I was thinking of doing some stamping and stuff on pages like that, but I'm just not really sure yet. But I am going to be doing some of the... Um, Gosh, I've got so much stuff here, you guys. So crowded. I, I did want to do some, like, page edging. Those are short ones. Wait. Mm. Like, this one is fun. Hopefully. It's long enough to fit. Oh, dear. I don't know if it is. Just right there, isn't it? What about this one here? I think this one's a little bit longer than, yeah. This one's slightly longer than the page. I know there's blue through here, but I'm going to distress a little bit, and I'm not really too worried about it because, you know, I'm going to have pieces on here and stuff. So these are cardstock that I'm going to be using. Um, yeah, there we go. Now this one's a little bit longer than the page, I thought so. Okay, so... I'm going to put that down with some hot glue. I'm not going to 
side do I want it on the other side? I've got... I could do it here. You know what? I'm going to do it here because this has all this green and I think that might look really nice. So we'll start it out on this part right here. this back I don't um I wanted you guys to be able to see what I'm doing and this page keeps falling forward do I have a clip uh, hold on a sec oopsie okay there there we go Ugh. Yeah, I haven't, I'm going to do a video, a separate video starting the, um, oops, towards that, oh shoot, that's what I was trying to avoid. I'm going to do a separate video decorating the journal cover, um, Yep, I managed to get some glue on there. I was trying to avoid that. You know me, clumsy girl. Oh, geez, look at that. That is so aggravating. And it's on this chiffon, too, so it's very persnickety material. I'm probably going to have to do this off camera, fiddle with it, and kind of scrape it off of there very carefully. Yeah, I don't even know. The bad part is it's on that part, so when I turn the page, it's going to show. See, that's why I'm irritated, because <laughs> you can see it. That sucks. Tara Renee. Okay. I don't know what I will do about you. Yeah, it's peeling off, but it's just being difficult. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to pause for a sec. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I fixed it. Believe it or not, I got it <laughs> to cooperate. I, I Most of it. I have a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit left, but I did get it off of there with an X-Acto knife razor blade uh, and scraping for about the last 10 or 15 minutes. So, <laughs> yeah. So we have to be careful when we do this type of material with some hot glue. I mean, I knew that, but it's definitely, uh, yeah, very, very small area here. I'm going to try to do it in smaller increments. I have a tendency, like you know, to dive into stuff and then uh, regret it. So we've talked about that. We have talked about it. And then I go do it again because it's just me. So how is everybody? What projects are you guys working on? Um, I'm curious. And I think, you know, I would really love it if you guys would comment and tell me stuff like that. Because it helps all of us. We all kind of encourage one another when we share, you know, what we're doing. And maybe even, you know, jump on Facebook and post pictures of what we're doing. You know, all of that. It, it's just an inspiration for each other. Because sometimes that's all you need is that spark. You know, sometimes some of my best ideas have just come from seeing something someone made and going, oh, you know what? I could make that but do it like this and add my own flair, you know, my own twist to it. And it ends up becoming something really cool that, you know, and I just, it was from being inspired by somebody else. And so I encourage you guys to reach out in the comments to each other or go on Facebook with us. If you're not a member of Tara's Take Family on Facebook, that is our that is our uh, name of our group. And we are growing. And 
I encourage, you know, all of us to participate and have fun with that because, you know, some, some of the girls on there get frustrated because there's not enough participation. We really welcome, you know, other people's ideas and inspires. So totally do. I'm going to kind of cut this at an angle here, I think, um, because at the other end, it's kind of flaring out at the bottom and I'm trying to do the same I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the same thing at the top, but I'm trying. Let's see here. It kind of just, where did I cut? Right there. Okay. So I'm going to cut the thread and then kind of cut at an angle this direction. There we go. I think I did it. I think I actually got it right. Let's look. How's that look? Yeah, that looks cute. So there's our page edge, and then what I was thinking of putting there, where is it? What piece was it? I was, oh, no, not this one. Okay, wait, move this. That's what it was. This piece goes nicely right there, see, because that just matches perfect. So what I want to do is I'm going to kind of go over this paper and just Dinge it up a little bit, not a ton. Just want to make it look a little bit darker. It's kind of bright. And then what I do with my Miss Tara. Would you, oh, here it is. I just dropped it. Okay, what time is it? Oh, we're at an hour? Gosh, I am a slow post today. I feel like I didn't get anything done. that down and then I want to kind of do a couple of things on this page um actually I'm thinking that would look really pretty there that's too big um I'm just curious about something let me see This would look pretty here. Look at that. Oops, not that. This. That would look very pretty there. <clears throat> Bringing this lace in again, wondering if this page, how it would look. I need to just glue it up underneath there. That'd be pretty. Okay, so I think I'll probably put this lace on this page and then let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do this piece on this side, okay? Before we, before we go. Just add a little bit of Vintage photo distress around the edges here. So what I'm going to do is glue this down here and then it'll be a flip where it will come. Let's see, do I want to do it? No, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. I think it'll be pretty on the back side of this page. It's just like I said earlier, it's just going to be another journaling spot for them. For that person who owns the journal. Okay. I'm like, 
cover that with some ribbon or something. So then see, they'll have a nice extra journaling space there that's pretty. And I do think I'm going to use some of this ribbon. Where's my scissors? Ugh. I wonder if this, how this would look. I'm going to do it on the back just to see how it would look if I just dinged it up a little bit. Would it still be pretty? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, I like it. It almost looks gold. Okay, let's just put some glue on here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the, the uh, flip in, the little flip down that I sewed yet, but... And scooch down. There we go. Oh, I like that. Looks a little bit different. I'm going to have to stand this up so I can trim the top. Sorry, guys. I know you can't see. I'm just trimming the edge of that ribbon a little bit. Okay. There. So. I'm going to put something, oh, you know what, actually, that might look really pretty right there. Yeah, I mean, I know it flips down, and it would be, they could write on this part, and then they'd have to kind of, eh, it'd make it hard to write on, huh? But it would look so nice right there, because that paper is the same, from the same kit, and it matches so pretty. And if I just brought it up a little bit, I like it right there. I'll have to figure this out. But anyway, that that would be really nice right there. So we'll see. Um, but you've got that page, and then you've, you've got your nice ribbon there, and you flip it, and you've got this beautiful page that's a flip over. And then right here, we're going to put something. I'm not sure what yet. I don't know. I might bend that little butterfly's wing. Come back where you belong. This would look pretty here, actually. I just feel like it needs more than one thing on this page because the page is so big, but I could just leave it as a, you know, as a journaling place. Like they could, you know, just put one thing here and then they could have all this journaling space, right? We could do it that way. Yeah, so we will see. Um, I love you guys. I'm going to let you go. It's already an hour and eight minutes. I apologize for how lengthy it is. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. And have a wonderful, blessed day. Please hit like and subscribe and be a part of our family. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.